Let's say we want to create a new Visual Force page for our survey entry object, one that contains some additional content. First, I'll create a new browser tab to work in so that we can easily refer back to the original. My user account is configured to enable Visual Force development mode, so I can create a new page by simply entering the name of the desired page in the browser. Visual Force will warn me that the page does not exist and offer me the option to create the new page. The upper section shows me what the page currently looks like, and I can open the Development Mode tab by clicking on the arrow below. This shows me the markup. Because we want to access server data, we need a controller, an Apex class to provide the server-side functionality for the page. While you can create a controller from scratch, every force.com object has a built-in standard controller, so let's use that one instead. If all you want to do is add some content to the standard page, Visual Force makes it easy to implement the standard page, after which you can add your custom content. Though I've just added some text here, remember that you can have that content also generated dynamically from a controller. While a page can only have one controller or standard controller, it can have multiple extension controllers. At first, all you see is the added content. That's because the page doesn't refer to an object. Let's go ahead and grab the object ID from the other tab and specify it for the page. As you can see, you now have your Visual Force page with the added content. The Apex Detail tag makes it trivial to recreate a standard page layout, but you can also do so using individual tags. Here's some sample Visual Force markup that recreates the functionality of the form, adding some custom text to each one of the object's fields. The Section Header tag defines the top-level header for the form. The form tag is required to turn the page into a form, necessary because the page does have buttons. The page block tag defines the main part of the page and contains the survey entry detail header text. It also contains the three buttons. The edit and delete buttons invoke the standard edit and delete methods on the standard controller object. The clone button is a bit trickier. It redirects the page to a new URL that tells force.com to clone the current object. The page block section tag contains each of the fields. In our example, there is new text next to each field specified using an output text tag. As you can see in the upper section, we have successfully added some text next to each field. Turning this into an edit page instead of a detail page is easy, consisting largely of using input field instead of output field tags and changing the edit button into a save button. This example only touches the surface of what is possible using Visual Force, but it does emphasize an important point. There's still no code involved. And while Visual Force markup is arguably not declarative programming, it's not Apex code either. Further testament to how much you can accomplish on Force.com without writing any code. There's one big thing that is missing from Visual Force that you have in Visual Studio. Where's the drag and drop designer common with an ASP.NET form? There's no equivalent in Visual Studio. There is no tooling to support a design surface and generate code for you. It's not impossible to do so. Force.com has a tooling API, so you can expect those kinds of tools to appear as time goes on, but they're not built into the platform, at least not yet. At the same time, remember that this is a different paradigm. In most cases, you'll be using Visual Force to build business applications where a consistent look and feel is essential. The Apex tags make it easy to implement that look and feel without a drag and drop user interface, as you saw earlier. And many of the annoying UI tasks relating to layout, error handling, and even localization are automatically handled for you by the platform. And if you are creating a page that needs a custom look and feel, you can always design the page using Visual Studio, Dreamweaver, or other page editing tool and drop the resulting HTML into the force.com page, adding the specific force.com tags as needed. 
Visual Force can also be used with the Salesforce Touch platform to build Force.com applications that are designed for mobile use. When combined with the Salesforce Mobile SDK, you can build applications for mobile devices that integrate with your Force.com application using several approaches, from a device-independent pure HTML5 application, to a native device application, to a hybrid approach that combines both the native and HTML5 components. You'll learn a bit more about Visual Force in the next section as well.